So the first thoughts about remote support was how exciting it was going to be because of it being a new innovation that teenagers and young people could really get into. They're very much into their phones and technology and this seems a really good way to engage with them at home or at school um, as a first idea that they could, they could really take control of their appointments. Well, of course, we had concerns about the remote support software to begin with, simply because it was a new technology. In hospitals especially, there's lots of difficulties around firewalls and accessing being allowed to um, communicate outside the trusts and outside of our, our um, IT domains. Um, they were very quickly um, disappeared because actually um, when we were communicating with teenagers at home and um, we really didn't come across any of these barriers once our IT guys knew what we were doing uh, and why we wanted to do it. Some of the benefits for audiologists and clinicians are really about the benefits um, to the teenagers as well. Um, for the audiologist, you get very open opinions from teenagers who are no longer in your clinical environment, but are actually in their home environments and will feel much more relaxed in and able to talk to you much more easily um, from behind the, the screen, um, giving you much more honest opinions um, uh, and reviews about how they're working with their technology and how things are going. An example of when I used remote support with a teenager was a, a young lad that was having some difficulties with loudness discomfort. And what I was able to do is connect to his hearing aids when he was at home. We were able to tweak some things like change the MPO, change the gain at different frequencies, change the noise reduction, get him to go around the house making some noises, come back, get some feedback and, and tweak things again. Um, I think the benefit of being able to do that was for both me and him. We were able to reach a resolution much quicker than we would have in the clinic because the clinic's artificial, at home's his real world, so the noises that he was having difficulty with. Teenager loved it because he get, uh, got to have his problems fixed whilst he was at home in his comfort, and I found it really helpful as well, being able to, to meet his needs. I think the software is really complementary to the face-to-face -face appointments um, that we carry out. Um, we're able to do things, um, short appointments, where we're not having to bring people back in, um, and it really does complement um, our face-to-face -face interactions with the young people that we're seeing. In regards to the youngsters using the software themselves, I really don't think they're going to need much encouragement. They're using this kind of technology on a daily basis and this really just helps enhance their relationship with their hearing providers as well as um, being time efficient for themselves and their parents. If I were to speak to another audiologist about remote support, I would say be open-minded, embrace the technology, it's the future of audiology and it has better outcomes for your patients. In terms of teenagers themselves, I don't think you need to encourage them. They embrace technology, it's their lives. I'm Nay, I'm 15, I have a high frequency hearing loss. I first wore my hearing aid in year two, and my favourite hobby is art. Before remote support, my audiology sessions were very hard to come to because I would have had to miss lessons and my education. My parents would have had to leave work early, which was very chaotic, and it took us over an hour to get to the hospital. I was very sceptical to be working with remote support, wondering how it would work. But then once I started using it, it was very futuristic and easy to understand. The way I used remote support was I was in the lounge with my sister, speaking to Kieran, my audiologist, over the tablet. Before that, my hearing aids were very quiet, which I politely told Kieran to increase the volume, which he was able to do, which was great because I didn't need to go to the hospital. When I used remote support, my relationship with my audiologist changed because we were able to have longer sessions without any stress. The technology was really easy to adapt to because it, you were using a tablet and an application which you used already in your lives. I believe remote support is going to benefit the lives of every teenager everywhere because they have the right to speak with an audiologist and it's very simple to use. I would encourage every teenager in the world to use remote support because it's very fun and easy to use.